Today is Thursday, or no, it's actually Friday, March 29th. I was wrong. Um, it's blue skies, sunny day. I'm in New York, and I'm on my way for yet another New York transit adventure. I think today's is going to take me to the bowels of Westchester County, as always. Because you know what? I am ever more in search of Orion 5s as they're still on their last legs. So, I'm on my way to the subway station because I have kind of an unconventional route of getting there. I'm planning on taking a series of buses to the Metro North. So, the first bus is going to take me to the subway station. And it's probably going to be that Q25 Limited right there because I'm lazy and I have an unlimited Metro card. limited now I've got to make my way to the Q48 because my destination for now on the next bus is LaGuardia Airport and it looks like my Q48 will be in a Nova bus today I got a Nova bus that has phone chargers for my short little ride to uh, LGA got off of the Q48 here at the Marine Air Terminal, uh, partially because I think it has the coolest terminal design, and the other part is because I wanted to see what type of buses were running on the LaGuardia Airport shuttles. Potatoes, apparently. Um, but here I am waiting for the Route M60. That's a select bus service. It's going to take me across to Harlem 125th Street, where I can make my connection to Metro North. The terminal has this nice, uh, I don't know what the art style, or the architecture style is, but it's nice. It has little fishies in the uh, the building highlights. Cool. Nova Arctic with bike racks. That's gonna take me to Harlem 125th Street. And it's crowded because of course it is.
after about 20 minutes, I'm gonna make my way to the train. Is that a jaywalk? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. This one right here, the 1103 Southeast. My destination is Valhalla, Viking heaven. Not my train, but Harlem 125th always provides some good rail fanning. That's a heritage unit. at once, wow. New York. And then before I even knew it, lucky me, I get M3s on my express run to Valhalla today. After an uh, enjoyable 30 minutes on the uh, on the M3s, here I am in Valhalla, Viking heaven. And a fun little tidbit about Valhalla is that this is where the Orion 5s of Beeline have been sent. Um, Beeline has three depots. One of them is contracted to PTLA Enterprises. Those are the ones that uh, operate the Route 16 in Peekskill, so they got a couple Orions. And then the rest are run by Liberty Lines and divided between their depots in Yonkers and the depot in Valhalla. And, um, so recently my information, i.e. the Canadian Public Transit Database, has suggested that the Orion 5s got sent to the Valhalla Depot. So it's a fun little thing to say, oh, the Orions fought in war and got sent to Valhalla. But that's not actually why I'm here, because the Beeline routes that service the town of Valhalla don't operate using Orion 5s. I'm instead here because I want to check out the Kenziko Dam. Um, I saw it on the maps, it looked pretty interesting. It was a nice little jaunt away from the city, and I'm gonna go check out the dam. Um, yeah, not a whole lot planned, just enjoying Upper Westchester County. Now, the Beeline Route 6 does service Valhalla, but um, I probably could have taken that to save a couple bucks, but unfortunately the way the train schedule's worked out, they are also running on an hourly basis, and so is the Route 6, because this is, well, rural Westchester County, so I just ate the, ate the cost and took the train isn't so bad. Probably gonna have to take the train back to White Plains too, instead of the bus, because hourly buses are 
Well, they're pretty hard to time out. But here I am. This Connect State Parkway is right next to me. An old uh, train car is servicing as is serving as a diner. Yeah, it seems like a nice town. The former railroad depot is also turned into a restaurant. The aptly named Valhalla Crossing restaurant also has a caboose in front of it. Here's a nice little creek. I imagine this would be a lot prettier in the summer, which is the last time I was in this area, but oh well. At least it's not so hot. After a short while of walking along the Taconic, I'm here at the Kensico Dam Park. Looks popping. It looks like it's popping off today because it's Good Friday and uh, I guess everybody has a holiday today. Damn. That's a big dam. So it looks like if I travel one mile, I can go on top of the dam. So I'm gonna see if I can do that. It looks like I have a lot of stairs in my future, which is, well, unsurprising considering how big this dam is. Well, I sure hope the view is going to be worth it. Halfway there. Made it to the top, but there's still more to go. You can hear the Metro North in the background. I don't think you can see it though, which kind of sucks. So I made it to the top. These big amphitheaters on either side. And a nice little viewing area. I wonder if I can see the train from down there. Or up here, I guess. The answer is no. Damn. I am very high up there. And there's a reservoir. So it looks like through the trees there. If I had been a few minutes faster, I would have caught the train, but it is what it is. This view is pretty nice. So, as I'm walking here on the top of this dam, I have two options. I can either bum around here for the next uh, 52 minutes and take the train two stops down to White Plains for my next activity, or I can just full send and walk the entire way to White Plains. Um, I think what I might do, since I have a bus at 1.30 that I want to catch and it's currently 12, um, Google Maps says it's an hour 20 walk to White Plains itself, but a 50 minute walk to um, North White Plains. So what I might do is just walk to North White Plains, see how I feel, and then catch a train towards um, White Plains itself. Because I have that 1.30 bus I want to catch and I do not want to miss it. Onwards. And I've made it to the amphitheater on the other side. So, time to hop on the stairs to get back down and make my way out of the exurbs. Is this a suburb? I don't know. White Plains is already kind of a suburb. I guess they keep this road free of cars. Good move. Stairs time. That's a dam, all right. Memorial. 
Uh, looks like the rest of my walk will be on flat ground. Over here, the bus stops for Route 6, going either Pleasantville or back to White Plains, but because of hourly headways, I'm choosing alternative transportation. My legs. Wait! So the path I'm going to be walking on today is the Bronx River, uh, Bronx River Pathway. Back in July, I came up here and I walked from Hartsdale to White Plains. Today, I'm going from Kensico Dam Plaza down to here. I think. We'll see. I got really lucky that the weather is so nice today because yesterday. Um, or, well, whenever the last video was dropped, Let's see if I'm still doing weekly uploads by whenever this one comes out. Anyway, the last video, the weather was terrible. I was like one hand on the umbrella, one hand shielding the camera from the water today. It's like 55 degrees out. It's so nice. Coming up on a bridge. Stop for the Valhalla Stone Bridge. Huh, wonder why they called it that. And even better, if you look down there and you can see Petra North. Well, this is the part of the line that is served hourly because Upper Westchester, so no trains for now. There's lots of rain yesterday, so all the creeks are nice and full, as is the trail. There's a grade crossing up there and a train coming, but I don't think I have exactly the best vantage point. I'm getting close to North White Plains because through the trees and freeze. See, one thing that's really annoying about this pathway is that there are no separated road crossings. It's just off of vibes. And because we're in New York, this is the type of place where when drivers see pedestrians, they speed up. So, you know, just casually playing chicken every time I want to cross the street. So, the reason that I'm rushing off to White Plains to catch a bus at 1.30 is because I want to catch the Route 12. This is a route that services the town of Armonk, a little rural town by the Connecticut-New York border. Um, it's always caught my eye for a few reasons. It just looks nice. Um, a lot of corporate campuses have their uh, headquarters there for some reason. IBM, um, this Swiss insurance company, they all headquarter in Armonk, and for a while, the Route H or F, one of the commuter shuttles that Beeline runs operated there, and for a while those buses were in 30-foot Orion 5s. But it's pretty hard to get a ride on one of those, um, because the IBM corporate campus is obviously not really keen to visitors, especially some dude with a camera. And um, so for a while I always put it off, but the Route 12 services our monk. As of recently, it hasn't been using Orion 5s, but for a while it did use their 40-foot suburban Orion 5s. So. I'm gonna go see what's popping about. There's not really a whole lot. It, there's not really a whole lot to do there. It's another quiet little town, but I'm sure I'll find something. And even if there's no Orion 5, the route, the route 12 still looks really interesting. So, on my way to North White Plains, so I can catch a train. That'll take me to White Plains. One stop. Up ahead, a flock of Canada's least liked export. <laughs> Oh, 
Now, another reason that I'm rushing to catch this bus at 1.30 specifically is because the 12 has some really bad headways for, uh, for New York. It runs hourly in the morning and afternoon peaks and then every two hours in the midday. So if I miss this one, the next one isn't until 2.30 because that's when the afternoon peak starts. Um, yeah, not so good for New York, but we make do. And why would I do that? And I've made it to North White Plains Station. Google Maps suggests that if I kept walking, I could make it to White Plains with about 10 minutes to spare, but I'm not gonna risk it. Forked over 325 to Metro North. Is this my train? Grand Central bound train, guess I'll get on. Oh, but there's another one at the same time. What the? I'm only going one stop, so it doesn't matter. So I think that one is the express, and the one that I'm on right now is the local. But I'm only going one stop, and they both leave within two minutes of each other, so I don't think it matters. And five minutes and three dollars twenty-five cents later, here I am at beautiful White Plains. I have about twenty minutes before my bus, a nice safe amount of time to ensure that I don't miss it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just head down to the transit center, which is in the parking garage across the across the way. The center is kind of dead right now because White Plains is very much a corporate commuter focused town and well I think today's a holiday and at that it is currently 1 p.m. so not a whole lot going on. I have a feeling this bus up here and Excelsior will be my ride to Armonk today. Oh well at least it's an interesting route. Being in White Plains though means I can spot navvies. I was right. No Orion 5 for now.
I've made it to the end of the 12 in this very, very sleepy town of Armonk. Behind me is the city hall. It says town of North Castle, so I might get the naming wrong. But yeah, that was a very enjoyable ride. Um, I'm a little bummed that they replaced the normal Orion 5 with an Excelsior, but you know, times are changing and I can't really expect that anymore. Um, the Excelsior did kind of suck because the seats were really hard and were not comfortable for the hour, however long I spent on this bus, but it did have phone chargers, so points for that. Anyway, I now have about an hour to explore, hour and 10 minutes to explore this town. Um, I'm gonna get myself some lunch and then I'll be on the bus back towards White Plains. Across the way after the stoplight, it looks like there's a little uh, walking path through a park. So I think I'm gonna go explore that. This park is called the Wampus Brook Park. Silly goofy name. There's a little gazebo up right here. Oh, and that goes my bus. Returning after its layover, I guess. Excelsiors, like the one that I rode today, are some of the newest in the Beeline fleet, but I am a proud Excelsior disliker. Hater's a little too strong. So, I will stay campaigning for the Orion 5s. I miss them so much. Um, there's the Wampus Brook. Here's one of the schools in Armonk, the Wampus School, it says. It looks pretty quiet, so I'm gonna assume that everyone is, uh, everyone has the holiday. place where there are no sidewalks. Oops. Google Maps is suggesting I walk along the main highway that has no sidewalks, so of course I'm going to take the small side street.
Okay, so our monk points off for having like no real walking infrastructure outside of the school and uh, where the bus stop was. There have been like no sidewalks and there's this highway that Google Maps wanted me to go on. It says the speed limit's 30, but it seems like one of those roads where the speed limit is however fast you can go before the cops start noticing. Um, yeah, as I'm heading back into town, I think the sidewalks start up again. So, gonna look forward to that and some food. All praise be. There's a sort of sidewalk. As I approach the main street slash downtown, the sidewalk and walkability suddenly increase. One bagel acquired from the Armonk Bagel Emporium. And because the bagel shop was about to close, I'm gonna go eat it at the bus stop. Looks like a good bagel. So, some thoughts on the bagel. That was one of the best bagels I've ever had. Yeah, shout out to the uh, Armonk Bagel Emporium. Also, because I uh, went in right before they were about to close, because I didn't know they were closing. Oopsies. But yeah, really nice, really nice guy. Maybe my bagel. And I'm just waiting here for the 12 back to White Plains. Didn't notice the city hall has this cool uh, eagle statue thing. Just sitting here waiting for my bus. The service here is a little pathetic. Well, I can't imagine there's a lot of people going to beautiful White Plains. And I guess no one's going there on Saturday or Sunday, unless they want to drive. But yeah, the 3.30 bus. It's gonna be mine. Man. Just a boring all excelsior. Oh well. My cherry in the seats. See, the seats on this bus, while they're cute, are very hard. Because I want to sit like a maniac. They're not comfy like the Orion seats. This is sad. And we're off. Bye bye, our mom. This is nice. So this trip is one of the ones that deviates to serve the office parks up here. So I get to take off another deviation that the 12 does.
will we do this funny little deviation? We'll see. Well, well, well. I guess we are. to ditch the 12 at, I don't know, some random stop on the side of the road, because I noticed when we were along here, there's a bus stop for the Route 3, um, and I'm going to take the Route 3, I don't know, wherever it takes me. It seems like the Route 3 is generally a peak-only service, so I'm going to hop on. There happens to be a stop just up the road from where I got off, so that was why. It's a very sudden last minute Google Maps with shenanigans. So as you can see, peak-only commuter service catching the uh, 421. It's currently 418. So, I am a little bummed out about getting in Orion compared to, I don't know, a more interesting Navi or something. But this route has some interesting highway actions, so... more deviating through dead corporate campuses.
and after like an hour, I made it to Riverdale, or not Riverdale, Yonkers. I'm going bonkers in Yonkers because I have a train in two minutes. I don't see it yet. I'm still rushing. Because I don't want to wait half an hour for the next one. After sprinting, I made it. Sprinting with like two seconds to spare, I made it. Trust the process. So, some thoughts on the three. Um, it was a good run, a very fast connection. Sorry, I got distracted. It was a very, uh, okay, not fast, but it was a good run from White Plains to uh, Yonkers. Connection was definitely a little tight. Um, but yeah, I made the train. I was honestly planning on just taking the next one, but the girl drove fast. So yeah, I'm on my way to Grand Central. I decided to just buy a ticket to Grand Central because eh, it's I'm lazy. So yeah, nice little Hudson line ride, and then I'll be in Grand Central. These little baby uh, Hudson Rail Link buses that they have. There are uh, rail connections for the residential Bronx areas. Express ride. Express. Half the stops are the are local. I'm back here in Flushing. There goes a train behind me. And with that, we are at the end of my adventure. I think it was a good adventure, even if there were no Ryan Fives involved. Um, yeah, very happy with what I accomplished. Walked around a lot today. Rode some cool buses watching and I will see you again next time. Goodbye.